My name is Hamza Dees, born in Brooklyn, raised in New York. I became very passionate about my love for New York City. My passion for it started from skateboarding. Being able to have access to the whole city, it transitioned right into photography perfectly. It's not that far apart, but photography, like the kind of photography I do is definitely more like thrilling than the skateboarding. Kids that I hang out with who were skateboarding also did photography. They all got DSLR cameras for uh, gifts and whatnot. I was like, okay, they got it, I want it, but I couldn't afford one. So my videographer let me borrow his mom's camera, which was a Canon Rebel XTI. And I said, hey, can I borrow this for a weekend to test it out, see if I want to buy one? And he was like, sure. And that weekend turned into like a whole year. <laughs> I lived in Queens, like in Bryant High School. That's the school I went to. I would literally get out of school, walk my way into Manhattan over the Queensboro Bridge, walk all the way downtown to Williamsburg Bridge, you know, taking photos, and then I would get on the subway and go home, like almost every day. You gotta work with what you got because maybe that's all you get. One of those friends that I had when we first began, he was like, Hamza, I don't wanna hang out with you anymore because you're like shadowing me, like if I take a picture, you take a picture. And that was only because, you know, I was obviously a beginner photographer, super insecure. I was like, it must be a good photo if he's taking it. So I took it too. I follow all these Instagram accounts, you refresh my feed and there's so many like different styles of photography and you're just like, whoa, like this world is really big. I told myself, you know, I don't want to be average. I want to be different. I want to be, yeah, just different. I don't want to create something that's already been done, you know? It's like, I don't want to live someone else's dream. I consider myself like, you know, kind of a solitary guy when I'm out, simply because like, you know, like every artist, every photographer, no matter what you're doing, you have that eye. And there's no one else in the world who has the same perspective as you. Like when I'm out exploring and I find places like the tunnel, it's like when you first walk in, it's like a Scooby-Doo moment. It's like you're tiptoeing through being super quiet. And then like you hear you hear noises and you get a little paranoid, you know. Oh uh, like something's gonna come out and bite you or someone's gonna like spot you. When I'm on a rooftop or like the top of like a bridge or down in the tunnels, I'm in awe all the time. Like it, I'm in like a surreal state of mind. I feel like I feel at peace kind of with the city. It's an incredible moment and I capture that moment. Like this is how I can showcase New York City differently and enjoy it at the same time. I used to get really scared when I'm like walking across a bridge normally. Like I would have my skateboard and I would skate across and not look down like when I'm above the water because I'd get scared. You know, and now it's like when you're even more high up, you're looking down and it's such a New York City moment. You have yellow taxi cabs, you have business people, you have tourists, it's like, no one knows you're looking at them. When I search for new locations and places, I kind of just, I don't really pinpoint exactly where it is because obviously I don't know myself. I just give myself, okay, well, you know, all the photographers are out shooting in Manhattan. You know, it's an amazing cityscape, but no one's really doing Brooklyn justice. No one's really doing Queens justice. So I'll go to those places that people aren't really willing to go to or don't really bother to see. It's like, you know, photographers are like, oh, like their security or cops are gonna get you. And I'm just like, bro, like there are no limits. <laughs> Being from New York City, doing this in New York City, it's like, you know, I wasn't the first person to take a photograph and I'm not the last. I always tell myself that and that that's also what pushes me to try to do something bizarre, something that no one's willing to do so I can literally be the first and hopefully the only one with that image. That's what I live for. It's like, imagine something and to be able to bring it back to reality and share it. 